a famous quote by our father of nation mahatma gandhi ji reveals that the greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated india with the vast availability of livestock plays a major role in milk meat and egg availability at the world level augmenting livestock production through scientific breeding programs and the emphasis laid on knowledge updation for the welfare of farming community increases the commercial value of livestock it becomes essential that any emergencies in livestock need to be attended and critical care needs to be provided to safeguard the animals in this context establishment of a livestock emergency and critical care center assumes significance a livestock emergency and critical care center has trained veterinarians field assistants and adequate equipment facilities namely oxygen flows ultrasound scanners radiography facility ct scan facility defibrillators arterial blood gas analyzers auto analyzers emergency surgical centers crash carts infrared lights anesthetic and life saving medicines The center caters to various kinds of emergencies based on clinical signs or symptoms which may be expressed due to various health ailments both in companion and farm animals. The animals will be assessed based on the severity of the condition and the animals will be initially stabilized using intravenous fluids and Subsequently, various diagnostic tests will be employed to ascertain the root cause of the disease manifestation. The center will help in assisting the animal or pet parents psychologically to overcome the pain endured by both the pets and their parents. The livestock emergency center should contain a specialized block for farm animals as the needs and requirements for the farm animals are entirely different the farm animals usually express symptoms varying from high temperature excess salivation colic or severe abdominal pain inappetence limping aggressive behavior bloated abdomen diarrhea epilepsy bleeding and in few instances recumbency with regard to companion animals which are maintained in households with more comforts and amicable environment express more aggressive symptoms namely heat shock stress epistaxis nasal bleeding hematemesis blood in vomit epilepsy and fractures emergencies are always stressful and three essentials in an emergency situation referred to as abc's of emergency are airway breathing and circulation and they must be checked and the animals need to be stabilized livestock emergencies are broadly classified into three types namely medical emergencies surgical emergencies and obstetrical emergencies medical emergencies include bloat acidosis poison ingestion gastric dilation and volvulus seizures nasal bleeding etc surgical emergencies comprises of fractures choke automobile accidents horn avulsions hoof avulsions 
and bone dislocation. The common obstetrical emergencies are dystocia, torsion, cervico vaginal prolapse, total uterine prolapse, etc. Critical care and monitoring. The animals which suffer from debilitating and chronic diseases such as diabetes, cardiac diseases and renal diseases may acquire very acute secondary bacterial infection and hence these animals require continuous renal replacement therapy. Echocardiographic evaluation Invasive treatment like pericardiosynthesis, abdomen synthesis, blood transfusion and real-time monitoring including electrocardiogram, electroencephalogram, etc. The veterinarians evaluate the clinical conditions and rank them based on a triage system. The triage helps the veterinarians to treat and evaluate the animals based on individual parameters and the severity of the condition. Critical Care Center admits animals in unconscious state or animals in very bad shape. But the animals will need emergent and timely interventions for which the anamnesis or history of the animal is important. It should always be remembered that prevention is better than cure. Hence, the pet parents and farm animal owners need to be advised on providing necessary vaccinations, deworming and deticking practices on periodical basis to keep their loved ones away from emergency and critical care centers. Further, care must be taken so as to keep the poisonous substances and hazardous chemicals such as urea, rat poison, nitrate-based components away from reach of animals. It is always suggested to adopt biosecurity protocols in livestock management of which periodical vaccination is very essential to prevent the spread of infectious diseases. In case of companion animals, tick fever, diabetes, pericarditis, anemia, fractures are the main source of emergency conditions in the animals. Thus, periodical visit to a primary veterinary center or a pet clinic will help in reducing the visit to an emergency and critical care center. Role of Pet Parents and Veterinarians in Livestock Emergencies The details pertaining to the health of the animal must be maintained meticulously. The periodical health evaluation of the animals or pets with a veterinarian is a must. First aid should always be done with the consent or advice of a veterinarian. Self-medication for the pets of farm animals increases the chance of critical illness. The role of the veterinarian does not end with treatment, but continuous monitoring of the animal in cases of renal failure, cardiac diseases, tick fever. Field veterinarians need to refer emergency cases to specialists concerned. Interventional and emergency surgical procedures help in better outcomes. Livestock emergency and critical care attention helps in quick recovery of the animals and such critical care centers should be established by the veterinary graduates in peri-urban areas with good road and rail connectivity. These centers will serve as coordinating centers over a specific geographical region so that Animals may be brought during the golden hour after an injury or emergency for better recovery. Critical care and monitoring helps in bringing back the valuable and lovable ones from deathbed to life.